inspire people to step into whatever it is that they came here to do, whatever it is they're passionate about. Find something that you're passionate about. I mean, it really excites you, it turns you on. Living life fully, always becoming more and not less. Passionate Living creator Catherine Miller was an early and influential voice in the growing natural health industry. Catherine started a newsletter in the early 90s called the Holistic Health Journal. Within a few years of publishing, this cutting-edge magazine reached an international audience of more than 200,000 readers bi-monthly. Catherine Miller's passion to take this kind of information into the exciting television format attracted the attention of Hollywood producer Steven Simon, whose visionary talents brought us many entertaining and inspirational films such as Somewhere in Time, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams and Cuba Gooding Jr. Catherine Miller. She has star quality. It's an undefinable quality, but when you see it on the screen, you know it. When she sits in a room with anyone, they light up and they open up to her in a way that is unique and compelling and dynamic because she brings out the best in people and that's what passionate living is all about. It was at this point that Catherine and Stephen produced a series of television programming called Passionate Living Moments for the Wisdom Network, highlighting individuals who were living their passions and using them to make a difference in the world around them. Inner City Slickers brings children from the inner cities and gives them the opportunity to work with cowboys and horses and learn wonderful, wonderful techniques that help to transform their lives. Hey, Michael, how did you end up doing all this? How did this get started? Well, you know, in 1992 when the riots broke out, I was watching L.A. burn from my office in Sunset. And uh, I was watching the news coverage and I was very upset about the way they handled it and how undimensional it was. It was just like cardboard people doing burning their city. Then I just came up with uh, the Awareness Foundation and started developing programs. What we're doing is called Jump for the Cause. These are the top 140 women skydivers from all over the world. There are women here from Japan, Norway, Australia, Sweden, uh, Paris, and then right here in Los Angeles. And we so far have raised about $420,000. <laughs> With the launch of the Passionate Living website, readers can explore topics that uniquely inspire them, such as adventure, health, relationships, food, and much more. As well as a powerful online community of passioneers, the website offers breakthrough, hands-on workshops and an exciting weekly radio show. The Passionate Living crew has been filming a documentary highlighting celebrated individuals who have stepped through their fears to live their dreams something that turns you on and turns you in a, in a different direction. That expression is no mistake. When you really click into your passion, your love, your reason for being here, I think you get better year after year. It, some part of it has to call to you and your ability has to fit somewhere within that. You know? I strongly recommend people who have desire to exhibit their passion and their, and their emotions to, uh, if they're not going to shrink, to uh, Join a scene class, get together with friends, read scenes aloud in your living room and belt it out. There's groups out there like uh, Seeds of Simplicity and others, Simple Living America, that help, help people slow down and simplify. Because I've, I've never seen a hearse with a luggage rack on top. I would say just follow your heart and trust your heart and trust your instincts and take a risk and live in your truth. Go for it. it be, be comfortable failing. Be comfortable making a fool out of yourself. Be comfortable with everyone not liking you, hearing no. Just go for it. Oh, we've taken the camera out and we've asked people if you could do anything you want to do in life, what would it be? Yes, cool. play a lot of music and oh, uh, work great. with great people, so it's a good thing. I always wanted to be an artist and I was, I was scared to do it at one time because of the failure. When people start to live their truth and step onto their path, they end up affecting the lives of everybody around them. Five, two, three. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching our informational video. If you have any questions, please contact us at www.passionateliving.com or 1-800-780-0044.